I am Julius Sumner Miller, the professor, the professor in this place from which comes numerous and wondrous things under the name of Julius Sumner Miller. And are you not agreed that many of these things have enchantment uncommon? The stick on the fingers, the stick which did not tip. Notice my, my writing business fell down. Gravitation. Ha, <laughs> gravitation. A good reason for it. Consider now this wondrous adventure, which I invite you to do with your mother's fanciest glassware. Take, for example, a goblet of great and wondrous design, of great crystal clear and much worth, and do as I'm doing. And mothers will, will not think too well of me. Beautiful adventure. A piece of paper on which resides a beaker with some water in it, a flask. I am going to pull it slowly and gently, and everything moves because friction binds the vessel to the paper. But I am led to interpose. I see some beautiful lights here gathered together in a focus by virtue of a light beyond being assembled by the water which acts as a lens. You see, I am led to explore all those things which I see, which reminds me to tell you that lots of people look, not everybody sees too well, and lots of people listen, but few hear. So you must see when you look and hear when you listen. And what is there to see? Wondrous things abundant, like a dewdrop on a blade of grass. What is there to hear? The gurgle of a brook or the song of a bird. You must look and see, listen and hear. So, friction holds it there. Oh, I have to fix it a little more firmly. Friction holds it there. I am moving the system slowly but urgently. Now, if I continue this process, you know disaster will ensue because when the vessel gets so that a line through the center of gravity, center of gravity, Archimedes, I shall do lots with the center of gravity in subsequent uh, programs. When the vessel gets to a critical place, any further motion of this source will be, of this sort will be disastrous. But watch, watch. Oh, how many of you are hoping that disaster befalls me, you devilish creatures? But watch! Ho! 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 I so enjoyed that, I am going to do it again. I am going to do it again. Any further motion of this sort? Whoa! Now, what am I talking about? Isaac Newton and inertia. A body at rest wishes to remain at rest. And especially so, if it has large mass, it wants to stay put. I'm going to illustrate that with some dramatic adventures subsequently. Watch it. And I say that is wondrous to behold. It bears on the subject of inertia. I am talking about physical inertia, the wish of bodies at rest to remain at rest. There is another kind of inertia uh, about which I should make mention. Intellectual inertia, which is a very bad kind of inertia to have. Indeed, people who have intellectual inertia suffer from a disease which I have named. I have named the disease. Photophobia. Fear of being enlightened. And finally, here is a hill up this way down which a cylinder rolls, and up which another body rolls. And we must ask, how can one thing roll down and another up? Which we shall explore when we are together next time.